Hi there, this is JB and Jalen. Um, week eight of our Art Band YouTube videos. So, so glad you're on the channel. Keep spreading the word, subscribe, have your friends subscribe. Um, we are, you know, figuring this video thing out because typically we are on the road. Oh, and I didn't say, I just said Jamie, and I'm gonna introduce myself again. <laughs> so I am the founder and the executive director and the art therapist for ArtBan, and ArtBan is a mobile art therapy organization, and we bring you art via very colorful band and directly into your neighborhoods all year long. So that's in Bath, Brunswick, Lewiston, Auburn, and Biddeford. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to do that since March. So we've come up with this alternative idea to reach you. One is this YouTube video so we can like do our little demo and our check-in um, with you and you can play with supplies that we have. Hopefully you got a bag, an art bag delivered in April and in May and plan to do one in June. And I'm not sure what's in that bag yet, so check it out, it'll be a surprise. Everything has a new supply of materials in your each of these monthly bags and their new materials and new project ideas. So here's the bag. And here's a project list. Um, there's a picture of Kelly and I on it. Woo! -hoo! And our art band information, and there's the list of project ideas that you can do or don't do or whatever, however you want to use them or not use them. Um, but our contact info is really important so that you can reach us and send us photos of what you create. And then in this bag is, for this month, paper, watercolor paper. Um, a box of markers, water soluble markers, um, throwing things around, some cool repurposed um, wooden sticks, and I'm just gonna dump these other things out. Move that for a second. Oh, there we go. They roll their wheels or not, uh, round shapes with holes. A paintbrush and two different colors of embroidery threads, and who knows what you'll get in your bag. There's all sorts of colors for that. And also, this is kind of more of the mystery item, is these, and you can see these little black specks. So this is seeded paper, and we thought it would just be really fun to use to write down our theme is, Jalen's <gasps> theme. Dream on! Yay! Exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have eight exclamation marks at this point. Um, dream on, so you can, write or draw images on your dreams, um, dreams for a better future, dreams for health and wellness, dreams to be able to go hug your friends again, um, or real dreams you've had. So, and you could write them on there with using the markers that we brought, and then um, you put the whole thing right in the ground, in the earth, somewhere's gonna get rained on, and some sunshine and some beautiful flowers, your dreams will grow. And this is an example of what Kelly did I really love what she wrote on there, and it's just really positive messages. So, yeah, you can have fun with that. And, all right, so, who are you, madame? My name is Jalen, and my dream is for everyone to have a great weekend. Yay! That's right, this comes out on Fridays. Yeah, um, and my name is Jamie again, and my dream is to move through a summer with a lot of um, smartness and creativity for um, getting through our summer and hopefully kind of being back to being able to hug each other and our family will come directly to you. So stay tuned. Hello again, week eight, yay, of yay. Dream On. Uh, Jalen and I here, we're gonna do a um, kind of a combo project. Uh, the first one is a crumple up real free flowing, um, lots of energy it feels to me like it would be. Um, and then we're gonna open it up or not and make a family crest. Mm -hmm. So what is a, a family crest? Um, it's a, just a, some kind of symbol I guess that would um, kind of um, represent um, you and your family. Mm -hmm. Through symbols and stuff? Yeah. Um, Does it have to be like um, a blood relative family or could it be like your community family? Or, or your... yeah, I guess just anyone close to you mm -hmm. who you might consider part of mm -hmm. some kind of family unit. Maybe. Would you consider collaborating with me? I'd love to. Awesome. 
Okay, so to begin this project, Jamie? Um, this is, these are combined two projects from the project list? Yes. Just check it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, we've combined two projects. Mm -hmm. So, you're gonna start out with your blank piece of paper, and then you're gonna crumple it up. Oh, fun. <laughs> Throw it at your brother. It is fun. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Use it as a weapon. And then you can mm -hmm. open it up if you want. Um, and then look at all the cool little wrinkles. I'm going to come in close to Kelly. Yeah. See all the see cool the little shape. lines and wrinkles? So one thing you could do is lay it down on the table after you've wrinkled it up. And then... So again, I'm going to take the cover off my marker and then put it on that little DVP on the back so that it stays there and I don't lose it. And then I'm just lightly going back and forth. This is a sound you're making. And there's not fun. It's like music. Mm. Scratching. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my cover and put it back on until I hear that click. And then I'm going to change colors. Go back. Now you can even write words on here. Um, I'm thinking about the family crest. I'm gonna put Jalen, her mm -hmm. name on here. She's part of my family. Too. And I'm gonna put Kelly, my name. And I'm gonna put Jamie. This is gonna be like an art band crest. Can you have names on there of pets and people who have you, passed yeah. away? And Absolutely. You can put anybody on here that you want. Um, so. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to crumple it back up again. And so all those names are on the inside. I'm going to hold them safe in there. And I'm really going to squish it. And then I can do the same thing with the marker here. Now, um, the yellow might not show up that much. But I'm just going to go in, go in. So I'm going to end up using all my materials, everything that I have left over from this May bag. I'm gonna change the color so that maybe you can see it a little bit better. Maybe the orange, kind of fun. And you can see how the orange kind of lightens up as it goes over the yellow too. It's kind of fun. So I'd really take my time and like really fill this all. So now I'm gonna take my brush and dip it in some water. Make sure it's nice and soft and then I'm gonna pour it on here. And you can kind of see how the colors are starting to blend. Okay. Right, before I get it all wet, I wonder if it, if it dries a little. Okay. Right, okay. Some more, some glue. Right, put my cover back on so I hear it click. And my water. There we go. See how that kind of. Oh, it's a green. Yeah. The colors mix and make other colors. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna spread it around like that. And then I can. Hmm. Are we gonna combine these two, Jalen? Sure. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is take my. What I'm doing is just tracing some of the, the lines that the I'm crinkles, seeing. crinkles, right? Some of the crinkles, yes. That is so cool, Jalen. Thank you. They remind me of like a mountain landscape from like a plain. Oh, I like that. So you're just tracing so the crinkles? Yeah. 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 Hmm? Ooh, yeah. 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 So the voice in the background is Brianna O'Connor, who is part of our band, and she just came in to grab something and say hi. She's taking her six foot social, I shouldn't say social, it's very social, but physical distancing. Wanna yell hi, Brianna? Hi, I miss everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just taking my embroidery thread that I had left and I'm gonna wrap my ball. I remember Kelly from previous video using the thread you were able to Break it with your strength, your power. That's right. So I've got my little tail sticking out here. So I'll show you what I did. I just wrapped it around my up of my fingers. And pulled. Nice. And then, oops, where'd my little tail go? <laughs> yeah, what's the tail for? Where'd it go? Oh, there we go. 
So if I find it, have the two end pieces, then I can tie it so my string won't fall off. So I'm going to crisscross and pull through. And then I'm going to take it and crisscross again. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. And then that top one, I'm going to stick it through that little loop that that crisscross made and pull both ends. Perfect. And I have a knot. Nice. Well, hold that up a second. That's great. No fun. Yeah, because it could be hung like that, and that could be it. It could. And then you can even use your markers and go back over and color, depending on what color um, embroidery thread you have. This was white, so it shows up really nice. So I could really do that whole thing if I wanted. And if I wanted, I could go back in, and I think it'll work on the fab on the thread too. Yeah like a watercolor and then I can add my little wooden beads if I have any left. Now I tried earlier um, doing the watercolor on here, turning the markers into watercolor. They didn't work so well on the wood. It didn't move the marker around too well. I can show you just if you want to color in your in the color and then add some water but it doesn't really move around that much a little bit but not too much not like it does on the paper but I guess the wood must absorb it pretty quick yeah I think so and the string turned blue yeah so it really works on the the string and the paper Quite nicely. Good discovery. Yeah, it's fun. You guys out there may have already discovered that. We just did. Mm. What are you doing, Jalen? Uh, I'm take a peek at you. I'm taking some uh, ends of the paper and I'm kind of. Um, you tore a piece. I caught you doing that. Yeah, um, I just kind of tore off um, like, pieces of paper just so I can focus more on, just so I can just have the piece with the design that I did. And now I'm just taking some pieces of the paper and some of the wire and I'm just kind of binding it. Wrapping. So wrapping it um, so it can make interesting, so I can make the paper a even more interesting shape. Cool. Can I add mine to yours when you're at that point? Sure, I'd love to. I'd love it. <laughs> so you've got wire oh, in yours now too, right Kelly? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So maybe these little circles can symbolize um, the family unit, how many people. Oh, the wires you mean yeah. too. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, yours, Kelly, is starting to remind me of like a solar system. Ooh. Like a planet. That is pretty cool. Gosh, you guys, how will you ever put those together? I can't imagine. Ooh, how are you sticking those in? Just, oh, I heard it. I heard something. Uh, just, Is just able to poke through? Yeah, but just have to hold the paper between my fingers first. Well, kind of like Kelly, how you demoed with the paintbrush did a couple weeks um, ago. Is the wire strong enough too? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I like how you made a little tunnel. I'm gonna peek at some of the words. Oh, we're it's like a little boat. Yeah, vessel. Vessel. Okay. Let's see. Can I have this? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, you knew right just what to Ooh, do. I How know, do you know like this? Did you whisper to her? <laughs> Go. Those are artist hands, huh, Kelly? Yes. Artist hand. Artist mind. Ooh, you painted the stick too. Well, you yeah. Mark it on the stick. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Hmm. Wow. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> the family crest. Our beautiful, magnificent family crest. Yes, ma'am. Is that your family 
guys are together. We're all together in this, right? So cool. That's Whoa. Cool. We are all together in this. And sometimes it's crumbling, sometimes it's colorful, and sometimes it's smooth and just dangling along. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so fun. Nice job, you guys. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for showing up, Rihanna. I know you keep us in stitches, but you can say goodbye. Yay. Bye. Everybody. Ciao, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.